obviously, you know, uh, congratulations to Clemson. They played a really good football game, very physical, good football team. Made made critical plays when they had to make critical plays. Uh, our guys, I thought we played hard and think we played particularly well at times. I thought they did a good job mixing and matching some things. We made adjustments and had opportunities to make plays. But you got to make critical plays at critical moments to keep pressure going back and forth in the game. And, uh, you know, earlier we had a couple, you know, missed. We had a drop on the first play, then we missed a second play, and then the 7-3, seven, three, seven, three, nothing. we get a good drive. They drive back, we score, and we get a good – we're moving it again and create the turnover. And, uh, they, you know, we gave it up. Our defense did a good job of – you know, transition defense gave up a field goal. And unfortunately, gave up the 90-yard drive right there before half, which was critical. But then come out, played well, defense and offense. And we got a couple first downs on some things and then just didn't didn't get it going. Then we had a really good drive. We missed a block on the backside. Uh, had a chance to score it with, you know, 10 minutes to go. Get it to a two-score game, 24-10, you're still in the ball game. And uh, But then I give our kids credit. We kept playing. Kids played hard. And, you know, they're a good football team. We're, we have a good football team but we have to play better. And I have to coach them better, and that's, that's on me to get them in the right positions at the right time and make sure they can understand what's going on and, and, and play better because we have a good team. And like I say, they're a good team, so we just didn't play well enough today to do what we need to do. Well, you said, Coach, moving. can you hold that microphone for AC? <laughs> uh, I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> what are your first thoughts about the way uh, Kelly's well, I thought he started off with me. I had a couple of throws early that he you know, couldn't get in the group. And then we dropped one off the bat, then we missed one. And, you know, just a hair high here, here. And then, then he started getting in the group. And then we got some protection. And, you know, he kept battling and playing well. But I didn't think he was in sync early. We just, just a hair off. Or when he was in sync, we were dropping the ball. Or as an offense, we were out of sync. You know what I'm saying? And, he, you know, and he kept battling and played hard. Did you think the defense played well enough to win Listen, we didn't win, so there ain't no offense, defense, one side wins good enough. Texas A&M didn't play well enough to win the game, so no, none of us did. And uh, as a team, you do whatever you have to do, but I think we, I didn't. I thought we played really well at times on defense. I thought they played hard, but we played physical. I uh, gave up some big plays at the wrong time and a big drive uh, and some things, but I thought they had their moments. Offense had a few moments, and you know, we got to play better as a team. What kind of adjustments did you make at halftime? Yeah. I made a lot of adjustments. We got our blocking scheme. We moved the ball for over 200 yards in the second half. Defensively, uh, held them to one touchdown. And uh, like I say, we and the other plays that they made, we got a guy come out of coverage on a scramble. If he stays back, we don't know if we make it. But that's what good players do. Their players make good plays when they had to make them. I and we made a lot of adjustments on how we could scheme it, how we could block it, how we could move it. And we, then we got down and we just got to finish the drives. Do you see the penalty on Matt and BK there before they just put him in the half? It, it's a critical play. No, well, I mean, you don't know. You're, you're long distance right there, and that's a critical play that keeps the momentum. That's what I say. It's just that even if you make a couple of those catches on offense, like they, that play there, it gives you momentum on the other side, and then the next play, and it spirals, and it keeps going. That's how drives start. In this game of college football, in any sport, momentum is huge. And when you keep moving the ball, you have momentum, and good things happen. And they have more momentum plays and did a really good job. How much would it have helped to get the running game going? Oh, it would have helped big time. But they had an extra guy spying down the box, and we missed a couple blocks. And, uh, you know, we need to get it going, there's no doubt. You talk a lot about having SEC depth. You had to sub a lot of guys in on defense, a lot of guys hurt. How do you feel about that depth? Oh, well, you also got to have depth. I mean, you you never have enough depth. And guys in this league, it's going to game of attrition. You're going to get banged and bruised and play. We did on offense. You know, we rotated linemen, rotated some receivers. Uh, you know, this, this is the game. We're going to need everybody on this team. That's what I say. Young freshmen and people like that are always valuable to your team. Do you have any you updates on PV, Corbin, or any guys that went out? No, I don't. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see that. You, you, know, you, want, a, you want a championship. How hard is it to defend? It's hard. It's very hard because people keep coming at you and doing and giving you the best things and giving you your best shots. And but you know, also you say defending it, but those you still have the confidence that you've won it. So it can work. It works both ways. It pulls you in these tight games. Sometimes that's what pulls you through. You've played them tighter than anybody in the last year and a half. In the last two games. Yeah. Basically. You're right. What does that say about them and about you? Guys? Well, I just, they're a very good football team and a well coached team. I keep saying it. We have a good football team. And there's a way when you get to that that level of winning against teams of that caliber who are used to winning, that you had to learn behavior and you have to learn how to hit those critical moments and those critical plays, like I said, to help keep pressure back on them. And that's something we're still in the process of getting to. We need to we need to clean up. Uh, no, I mean. 
they, they, they got a bunch of still really good players just in different numbers. I mean, they've recruited well, just like when you keep winning, you know, you just keep recruiting well. So they, they're a very talented team. Would you like to see Kellen use the field a little more today? No. I like to see him just keep making good decisions. When it's time to use his feet, it's time to use his feet. There's no set thing on how much feet you use. It's based on the decision, how the game's played, because he can throw it or run it, do what he has to do. Can he do it? Huh? Did he lose confidence in all kinds No, he kept playing. He, he saw he kept battling in that game and took us down there on two different drives and kept playing his tail off. He didn't lose confidence at all. Was he dealing with cramps? I'm sorry. He did got a cramp right there in the beginning of the second half, then he got it out. He, got, he had one that right there in the beginning, then he got it out. And that was the only guy. We had a couple that had banged up. Most cramps, we didn't have cramps. I know you've got to go look at the table. What's your assessment of the old line right now? I don't know. Well, I to, again, I, do I look and, and see what, what the issues are and what we're asking them to do and how we're doing it? What could he have done differently? Besides throwing that interception in the end zone, coach. What do you got well, I mean, he had a couple of opportunities. He hit some balls early. You know, there was, you know, we down there that first drive. We had a corner route through a little bit. Ball was high. Um, had a crossing route to Kendrick on that drive. Maybe he hit a guy. Uh, nope. Maybe had that second play, we had a chance on Buckley. You know, we had opportunities. and But then we had about six drop balls, too. I mean, so what I'm saying is that if you get those plays, and all those were 15, 20-yard plays, you get momentum. And then all of a sudden, your confidence, just like it happened at the end on offense, once we got a few things going, then you got confidence. And that's what I, we didn't put enough things together as a unit collectively to do what we need to do. Well, the confidence more. they showed and the bravado they showed this week leading up to the game, would you like to see them execute I, a little earlier? Yeah, no, I thought they practiced hard, played hard, believed in it. And this, you got to know how to play these games and make those plays at the right time. And we got to get better at it. Anything else? Anybody else? All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Great day.